the future ports project is about making uh, Moscow River clean, accessible and active. And the important part of the project is uh, to activate the periphery. Because periphery is big in Moscow, as you know, maybe. And uh, it's 80% of the territory, it's about microions. And all of those microions and industrial territories, they are blocking the river. And the river is not the center of the city. But for Moscow, it's important to have a new center. And the river could be the new center of the city using this concept of future ports and activating the, the riverfront. The project includes 100 city ports and the port is the piazza on the river, different sizes. We have 11 city scale ports like Moscow University, Zaryadi Park or Parliament Center or Kapotnya, which is the poorest district, and we want to activate this. And we have smaller ports, like neighborhood ports. Uh, these ports belong to microions, and they should be uh, new centers for communities. So the river could glue together all of these fragmented territories along the river and these ports could be uh, like hotspots of these public activities. Now the project is incorporated in the Master Plan of Moscow. It's a part of Master Plan of Moscow. We did this work with city planners. Uh, they finished their work and we finished our work this summer, the previous summer. Uh, it means that uh, next year we will have a sort of more project of embankments. We did a couple of embankments because, of course, we are not designing the whole river. We are curating the project and we are doing some of the parts, but most of the parts done by international and Russian landscape designers and architects. And I should say that this is a project for 50 years or maybe 60 years. It's not for now. It's, the river is long. It's 200 kilometers of embankments. 